I hope that set the tone for today's video. <laughs> Huh. I'm a horror movie enjoyer. I like things that are spooky. Are we surprised? Probably not. Especially not with the corner of my room looking like this. Call Freddy Fazbear goofy, whatever, I don't care. Uh, I've got the true luxury suite over here. I'm sleeping in a forest and then I'm also in Freddy Fazbear's pizzeria. I get the best of both worlds. Anyways, recently I came across the trailer for a certain horror movie that no one is talking about and I have no idea why. Cause once I saw this trailer, I would not shut up about it because it is truly one of the most bizarre concepts I've ever seen in my entire life. And I'm kind of living for it. So the movie that I'm talking about is called Slother House. You'll never guess what this movie's about. A killer sloth, but there's like more to it. So I guess let's let's just get into this. There's this girl, she's in college and she wants to run for president of her sorority. And I'll be honest, I didn't really know that's how sororities worked. Come to think of it, I really don't know anything about sororities. So this girl is having doubts about running for president and then gets this advice. You just need something that sets you apart. And I mean like, okay, good advice, right? You could take that advice and go many different places with it. Get a cool tattoo. Too. Cool hairstyle that really stands out. Maybe pick up a new hobby. Start a jazz band. What does she do? She gets a whole live sloth to be the sorority mascot. Automatically making people like her more. Because why wouldn't you like the girl with the sloth? But first off, is it even legal to buy a sloth? Like that's red flag number one. Is it legal to own a sloth in the US? As of 2022, it is legal to own a two-toed pet sloth in Alabama, Florida with a permit, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Minnesota, Michigan, Mississippi, Montana, New York, Nevada, North Carolina, Oregon, South Dakota with a health certificate, and Texas. So so apparently it is legal to buy a sloth in some places, not where I live. So I guess my dreams of having a sloth are crushed. Guess I'll never have the experience of being cool sloth girl. And since I'm just going off the trailer, no, I do not know where this movie takes place, but I do have a gut feeling that this woman does not own a permit to own a sloth. Which leads me to my next question. Where'd you get the sloth? Anyways, the girl that she's running up against is giving very mean girl energy. She wants to crush sloth girl. And the way that she figures she can do this is by- Get rid of the sloth. So her henchman is like, yes ma'am. And she like, brings it down the driveway of the sorority house and releases it, which I feel like sloths move slow. I feel like someone from the sorority is gonna be like out partying and then come back like several hours after the sloth was put on the driveway and see that there's a sloth like two inches from where the henchmen placed the sloth. My girl put in minimal effort. Here's where the horror plot twist comes in, right? Slothy doesn't like that she got left out in the rain and Slothy reveals her true intentions by coming after Miss Minimal Effort Girl and then proceeds to come after everyone in the sorority. So fun. I feel like this whole experience is probably just a really, really good bonding experience for all the girls in the sorority. That's what I call friendship. Anyways, this sloth's evil tendencies brings me back to my original question. Miss ma'am, where did you get the sloth? But this sloth is like taking girls down left and right, okay? Hot water tactic? That's just cold. <laughs> get it? It's kind of funny because it's hot water tactic and it's just, it's cold. <sighs> Thanks for coming to the show, folks. This line in the trailer really speaks to me, by the way. She's a sloth, she can't plan that. The FNAF sloth jump scare also really speaks to me. I feel like we just radiate the same energy. Oh, I don't know what I just kicked. And again, this person was all like, what do you know about sloths? I know that they're so slow. slow. Did she look slow to you? Further proving my point that Miss Man probably did not have a permit to own Slothy. I'm calling it Slothy, okay? I don't actually know its name. Did you see the look in her eye? She's like a cute turkey. Another one of my favorite lines. Honestly, I feel kind of proud of Slothy for becoming the world's next track star. Oh, Slothy has muscles, maximum level threat, hello. And the sloth winked, oh my goodness. Hello, where is the hype for Slother House? The sloth is going wild. I think the only thing that would make this better if they had a scene that was like, we are Slother House. I mean, maybe there is, I don't know. I've only seen the trailer. I do plan on watching this movie in full, so we might revisit this topic and by might, I mean probably will. Cause this is a cinematic gem, hello people. I know on this channel, I talk a lot about like weird things, some spooky things, so if you guys rude. If you guys want to see more videos where I talk about like weird obscure horror movies or just weird like I don't know movies in general because I did do a video where I talked about the haunting hour. I do want to do a video on the spirit Halloween movie because I feel like that needs to be discussed. Let me know if you have any suggestions on topics you would like me to visit in the comment section down below. And if you've seen Slother House let me know how it is in the comment section or like I don't know just what do you think about this uh premise uh, th th this movie? What do you think? Let me know. Anyways, that's gonna be it for today. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Peace out, Brussels sprouts.